Hello, welcome to Amazing Gadgets. Today I will be doing a mini unboxing and quick overview of the Manfrotto MH057M0 RC4 Quick Release Ball Head. So pretty much my old tripod head broke, so this is pretty much why I got this head. Um, I just got it in the mail, so, and I will be unboxing it along with you guys on this video. First of all, let's open it up. Lots of bubble wrap, so it's nicely packaged inside. Let's pull out the contents here. Whoa, this is huge. Okay, so here, first of all, you have the, um, Manfrotto pamphlet thing which is let's open it up here some warnings so it says read the full instructions um do not leave product unintended so pretty much um some instructions on how to maintain this okay pretty much read this later um and this right here is the instruction manual. Um, open it up. Nicely made instruction manual. Okay, so pretty much I'll look over this later. Oh, so let's get the head itself out of the bubble wrap. This is huge. Oh, oh my god. This is one giant head. That is oil on the bottom here, or is that, that's like, anyways, this is almost the size of a, oh, you can't see it on the video here, so this is almost the size of a tennis ball, the in, inside of this, and it comes along with this um, tag, pretty much 100% magnesium, this is a huge ball head, seriously, I, I don't know if you see this, I have a huge hands and look at it. This feels pretty heavy, it's giant, and it looks like it's going to hold a lot of weight. It feels really heavy on the hand, about 3 or 4 pounds. Uh, so, let's figure out how this works. So, I think this is the panning lock here. So, I'm loosening it, so now the panning thing works over here. And this is the, um... And this is the, let's see, friction control. I'm not sure how it works yet. I think this is a friction control for the ball head, I guess. Ball head unlock is this giant thing over here. Um, so pretty much I'm going to give you a small overview of this now. This is great. Okay, so pretty much you got to... Um, get the oil started in here so pretty much um, I guess this controls the friction of the ball yeah exactly this controls the friction of the ball here so this is for loosening and as with all Manfrotto heads if you want to reposition it without affecting the lock you could pull it out apparently this knob does not pull out but I don't see why you would um, this is the pan lock. So I don't have it actually attached on the tripod right now, but as you can see, it does spin with the pan lock on. So I'm gonna, whoa. Yeah, just don't spin it too much or else it's gonna fall out. Um, anyway, so the pan lock one actually can be repositioned. Just pull it out and you can reposition the knob without affecting the pan. And for the ball lock, uh, it's this giant thing right here. You go pull it out and reposition it where you want so pretty much you can lock it like this you can lock it like this and when it's free you have a lot of movement on here like you could just actually spin the ball around inside this and for panoramas or vertical panoramas you could kind of like spin it like this so a lot of movement you have this uh, 90 degree thing, so that means if your tripod legs are level, this will actually automatically just go down to 90 degrees. But if you're on even ground, there's actually the switch over here, which allows you to go past 90 degrees and go a lot further. So pretty much slide this back in. Um, 
There are two bubble levels on this. Uh, one for the flat, flat bubble level, and when you're in the uh, pretty much the 90 degree, you also have a bubble level here, so you could level the head. Again, this thing is very big, tennis ball size. Okay, don't let the video fool you. It's about the size of a tennis ball. It's huge. And so you have this giant bottoms uh, um pretty much let's just, let me show you the quick release system there is a safety level or lever right here that you have to press in order to release the plate so as i said uh this is my first time doing first time with this head so i don't know how this whole thing operates right now gonna figure it out along with you guys right on this video so you have this uh, plate over here the quick release plate which has a uh, arrow pointing to the lens lens faces that way uh, it's got a 3 8 inch screw and a what quarter inch with this rubber stopper here um, there is also a hole for the screw that you don't want to use and you could just screw that in right there but I don't think that'll be Great because you won't be able to mount it so I suggest you just take off the one you don't use and store it somewhere safe and for attaching this onto the onto the head you pretty much just press it and it will click right into place again to release you have to uh, press on the safety switch before you can release it so that's a nice feature so I guess that's pretty much it for the o unboxing and overview. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to purchase the product, I have a link in the video description below. Make sure you check it out. If you enjoy photography, I uh, run my own photography blog. I showcase photos I've taken on there and, and sometimes offer you tips. So that link will be in the video description below too. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.